Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Um, I'll get through the business stuff first. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications right away. Anytime I upload a video, uh, I don't have a specific time when I'm going to be uploading videos. So ring the bell so that you get notified right away. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you like it. Uh, I don't want you to like it just because. And then please comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else you want to see. And I'll be throwing some stuff up. Mostly right now it's older videos. And we'll get to the new stuff when I make it. Uh, so this one here was a practice video, really. Um, I will watch some tutorials on rock faces and carving trees into the paint. So I wanted to give it a try. And then as I went along, I started to really like the look of it. So I went ahead and kept going and made it look nice. Uh, right here, I'm just layering paint down. Uh, there's going to be a sky, obviously, the blue stuff. And then the bottom stuff is going to be foliage and cliffs. So I'm just layering the paint, picking some of it up. So you're getting little blotches and stuff and not just a big blob of paint. Speaking of big blobs of paint, uh, here I'm just putting down stuff for the cliff. Red, orange, brown. I think I covered up with black. Actually, I'll cover up black next time. Get rid of that mosquito. Um, and then just pull this paper along it, carving in the different kind of edges and stuff so that it looks sort of rocky or molten -y, I guess, and then I will carve in the edges of the actual rocks and try and make it look better. Uh, dry a little bit with hair dryer, wet paint just kind of will fall off or won't carve very well because I'm going to put in another layer of a cliff. It's supposed to be a kind of another rock layer in front of the rock layer. Hopefully it looks that way. Uh, I just want to spray with black just so it's a little bit different. And then I do the same thing and pull down the paper. Here's where I carve in with a palette knife, just kind of making some lines, following the natural lines of what was already made by the paper pulling. Um, and then just trying to carve in a little bit of rock thing. It takes a long time to practice, which is why I was practicing here. Um, and it just takes a little bit of trying to figure out the edge of your palette knife. And on this set of rocks, I'm kind of pulling it back, trying to make it a little bit different than the first one. Just trying different technique. You have to keep trying everything until you get what is good for you. Uh, it was too wet, so I had to dry it up a little bit because I was just taking off too much paint. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Um, just trying to make a different kind of shape, I guess, than the first one. Uh, as I was doing this, it started to remind me of a place back home called We Met Canyon. Um, it's outside of Thunder Bay, Ontario. So if you're ever in the area, go check it out. Um, yes, it's just basically a canyon, but uh, there's nice walkways to get to it and beautiful scenery and usually you'll look down the canyon and you'll see Lake Superior. Um, I obviously didn't do Lake Superior in this because I wasn't even thinking about it when I began. But that's what it started to remind me of. Um, and sorry for when I go quiet, but mostly I'm just watching the actual painting and enjoying 
peacefulness of the process of putting paint down and taking it away. Uh, here I start carving in the trees. Um, I do two different kinds of carvings. This one is just coming straight up from the bottom going up. So you start thicker on the bottom and you get thinner at the top and kind of make the branches. Um, comes out kind of looking like a birch tree I guess. This was round about when I started to think, you know what, this is actually interesting. Maybe I won't just go willy-nilly and I'll actually make this into a nice sort of painting and see what I can come up with. So I'm going with making a painting, so I figured I'll put in some clouds. Uh, I use Rust-Oleum uh, Quick Color White, and of course my stencil. Uh, the Quick Color is a little thinner paint, so it gets kind of wispy, and it's kind of what we call transparent paint. Um, so it's really good for clouds. And these clouds came out really nice. Uh, the template there for the clouds I just carved with a palette knife, or not a palette knife, a uh, just knife. And I just kind of carved different bumps and grooves. See, look at those clouds. Those are really nice looking clouds. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, I love getting comments. And even if you don't like something, comment as well. Um, as a writer, I got plenty of bad comments. Uh, they suck, but they also help you learn. Uh, this tree here, I'm carving a different way. I'm coming from the top down. It comes out kind of like a little bonsai tree, which is pretty cool. And I add in some roots there going into the rock and the branches going up. Just a little stubby sucker. I didn't really know what to do with greenery in the middle. So here I just kind of carve in some light lines so you can sort of see trees in there. Um, They don't really do much, and I well, couldn't really do much after I already done stuff, so I went with that. Um, over here, I'm just layering different paints. Uh, blue, green, I think that's key lime. Uh, just to get different colors for when I put in the leaves. Uh, the blue will be kind of like a shadow on the bottom, and the key lime is more of a highlight. So when I put them in, it should all work together. Those came out nice, but the key lime didn't come through, so I just go back in and put a little highlight in there. And I believe I'm using a napkin brush. Uh, if you look at my TikTok, I have a small tutorial on how to make those, um, which I got from other artists. Uh, spray paint community is great. Uh, lots of people share, they do tutorials, and the reason they do tutorials is to help new people and have it blossom and come out. Uh, some people like to say that spray paint art is not art because you're just using spray paint and whatever. But you know what? That right there looks like art to me. Let me know what you think. Uh, so I throw in the leaves on this tree. It comes out pretty good. And then I think I want to do some greenery on the cliffs. And some little bushes and sort of mossy sort of things. Uh, I'm always learning with spray paint art and with any art. I'm probably this winter I will go to acrylics and 
try doing painting because it's hard to spray paint in the winter because you got to do it in an uh, outside and it's cold here in Saskatchewan. I can go over minus 40 so I don't really want to be outside trying to spray paint because paint doesn't work well in the winter. Uh, here I come in with some darker green and my lighter green. And then some white. Try and do the same thing with three different colors. And throw in the bushes there on the side. So we're coming up to the end of the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done that already. Uh, like this video if you like it. Comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what else you want to see. Um, yeah, or let me know anything. Let me know if you're an artist. I want to see your work. So, hope you like it, and I will talk to you next time.